Hello everyone, this is Mr. No. Today I will show you one tool called Photo Forensics. Using this tool, you can identify all the images in which um, there are some modification made to that photo after taking the photo. That will include uh, enhancements made to this photo, touch-ups, or any uh, changes in the photo. So I will show you how it works. So let me go to some of the examples. So you can upload any photo here to find out uh, whether a photo is actually true or not. There are multiple levels of analysis. One is known as error level analysis. It's an algorithm that evaluates the error level potential of a JPEG image. And in JPEG, it's a lossy uh, image format. So every receives decrease the picture quality. The amount of degradation varies based on the number of saves. The first save loses a lot, the second save a little, little more and by 20th save it is probably as low quality as it will ever get. So based on this we can identify various uh, um, quality. So let me show you some of these images. With the following examples, I will show you how you can identify fake images. The first case is the case of Kuhn's Gambit. So here if you see, on 5th April 2020, so Kuhn Elizabeth made a rare public statement about the coronavirus. In the televised statement, she wore a green dress. So people started replacing her green dress because um, um, it's easy to replace green color in video editing softwares. And now you can see various types of images. So now uh, from this uh, you can tell, could you tell this, that picture was altered? So similar texture should have simple, uh, similar compression properties and appears similar under error level analysis. But um, some of the part of the image will be shown in a different color. So I will show you. So this is the image of Queen. Now if you go here you see this is the edited part. So here if you click on this error level analysis you can identify which part is the one which is edited. So you can clearly see this part is edited in that image. Now coming to the second analysis uh, is the case of the missing Macau. So there is a Japanese pictorial fable about the three Macaws. So here to simplify this I will tell you in this image right in this image if you can see one person is, is uh, portraying do not hear anything bad, do not see anything bad and this person is saying do not um, speak anything bad. Actually, this person was not wearing the mask. They have put a mask artificially by editing it. So that can be clearly be seen. So the edited photo can be seen here. So that is how you spot the fake image here. Now coming to the third analysis, the case of the Bernstein uh, bears. The Bernstein bears are a beloved series of children's books and cartoon at the online forum called Reddit. A user claimed that the characters used to call the Bernstein's beer rather than Ian. So if you can see here, I found proof that Bernstein's were once called Bernstein bears, maybe. So as a proof, you upload a digital picture that shows the characters with the EIN spelling. As you can you see here, EIN spelling somewhere. Yeah. E, e, e N S T N. And you can see that here. This is the image from this. This is the proof. So here you can clearly see that it being made. You see this? That edited part can be clearly seen. All the images edges should look similar, but you can see there uh, the proof is that uh, the purple text rate altering the benest is in lower quality than remaining test. So that edit has been made. So that can be identified. So now coming back to the fourth analysis, the case of the deadly disk. So shortly after Kim John 
became North Korea's new leader. A new picture was distributed of him holding an object. The image quickly became an internet meme as people digitally altered the photo. Here are several pictures of Kim Won Jun. However, none of these are original photos. At a minimum, each has been cropped, so resized and resaved from unknown originals photo. With all but one of these pictures, there has also been one or more digital alterations beyond cropping, resizing, and saving. So this is of the Gangnam, Gangnam style. So the again in uh, in the JPG ELA right error level analysis, you can see the edit being made. So you can see the edits being made. So here again you can identify it. And the next one is the case of te test pilot. So let me open that. The case of test pilot. This 1972 photo from NASA shows a YF 12A interceptor jet plane with test pilot Donald L. Malik. However, something was edited. You can click on the picture to view it with forensics. So, where is the modification in the picture? Which program was used to perform the modification? Can you identify how exactly was this modified? So we go to a one step further. You can see here some modification has been made here on the ground. Can you see this? So let's look at what was modified. Yell and if a large patch to the left of the test pillar that is inconsistent with the rest of the picture. That is where the edit occurred. Now, which program has been used to perform the modification? The metadata says the picture was processed by Adobe Photoshop. So we can get the metadata from here. From here, you can see um, software included. So that is again an indication of whether the image was modified or not. Now, can you identify exactly what was modified? If you said the ground was altered, then you missed it. The pilot shadow was digitally removed. There was a shadow for the pilot. Here's the source from NASA photo here. You can see in this photo, there is a shadow of the pilot. So in this photo, the shadow was removed. So this is how you use this. Now coming to even more complicated cases, the case of bad news. So in this one, each of these pictures come from a news story. Can you identify how these pictures were edited? So let's open it up. News one is originally posted Bloomberg. This photo purpose to show US Marines parts in military drill. First, evaluate each picture visually. Can you see any modifications? Let's see this picture using ELA. You see, there are some edits being made here. You can clearly see some edits. Now, let's look at what it means. Without any, you might notice an abrupt edge where an artificial blur edge around the people. ELA highlights a very bright area that is significantly different from the background. The soldier and section of grass in the lower left are a different compression level than the rest of the picture. The modification is to be selective sharpening. If there were any other modification, they cannot be identified using ELA. For example, blurring the background removes the compression level artifacts. The two heads in, on the left are the different compression level compared to the blurry background are two sh sharper soldiers on the right. So, there were some edits being made here in this photo. Now coming to the second news story. It is the following the 2010 shooting death of Oscar Grant, uh, California Bit Report and Press Statement made by Grant's uncle. So here, let's look at what is wrong in this one. Do you see any changes? Let's see, what does it mean? Without any analysis, you probably did not notice any alteration. With error level analysis, we can identify that Cephas Johnson photo right was uh, digitally altered. His face and part of his jacket, jacket was sharpened. Undetected by Yelly, the overall color tone of the picture was changed, giving the reporters on the left a more reddish faces. The color adjustment also changed Johnson's skin tone. The picture was cropped. 
a person said on the left and the channel to attribution of the microphone were cut out of the picture so if you look close this has been cut out so if you see the actual one uncropped one you can see it here this is how it was supposed to be now coming to the news 3 so here you can see a satirical opt showing Polish president kissing the hand of former communist leader so there is a edit being made here let's look at it see this picture has been altered so let me look at the news for the modification artist just remove the president and replace him with a different photo you can still see the president's upright shadow covering the man in the red tie the source picture is not camera original the metadata shows that it was processed using adobe acrobat so if you go to the metadata for this you can see the post processing has been done using adobe photoshop so that is one way of identifying again now coming back to even more complicated cases the case of supermoon so F supermoon is when full moon coincide with the uh, closest points to the moon's orbit around the earth so this is an image which says that people have uploaded users uploaded various versions of the pictures to photo forensics for analysis look at these pictures and try to answer the following questions are any of these pictures camera origins do any of these pictures identify an unedited moon when was this picture created does this picture represent a super moon can you identify the photographer you see this was digitally edited none of these pictures are camera origin a camera origin photo should have metadata that reflects the camera picture 1 and 3 have minimum metadata that doesn't identify any camera information picture 2 identifies the picture as coming from canon EOT camera over the metadata also identify photo of photoshop so if you see go to the metadata of this it doesn't show any camera information so now coming to even more advanced analysis the case of water eyed girl the case of water eyed girl so in this case having both eyes look inward is a called isotropia so click on the picture to view the analysis plenty of people can cross their eyes but few people can look in opposite direction at the same time so is this picture real can somebody do like this let's try using analysis there is some alteration that has been done you can see here so the maker identifies as a casio computer uh, the model is this if you look at this camera you will find that small end and shoot camera with a 3 megapixel camera so metadata x6 the creation time and original say something the picture was photographed on this date if you look at the metadata it also shows the location the time stamps are consistent the metadata section is consistent with the camera the earlier research was a dark vertical line down the center of the picture compared to the rest of the picture this line is inconsistent the ELA is showing a dark vertical line line down the center of the picture you see dark vertical line this inconsistent identified edit that was made to the picture the wall light girl appears to be made from two photos that were spliced together so that way that is how they did that now coming to the case of scottish ship now you see the stories and pictures go viral and spread across the internet rapidly the results are hundreds of photo variants of analysis one viral story is about a farmer who dies his ships it has been repeated in several media outlets freshly dyed sheep run a view of highway near bathgate scotland is this true which photo is the highest quality is the highest quality picture digitally altered can you find a better source for the original is the viral story associated with the picture correct ignoring the picture is the story real that is all we want to identify now if you look at it what do you see 
you see color everywhere on the picture now let's look at what the answer is sheep is the highest quality According to the back, sheep A was last saved at 94%, sheep B at 95%, sheep C at 80%. Even if the pictures were all the same dimension, roughly the same file say, sheep B would be the highest quality. Artificial focus along the lower third of the picture. This appears as a bright horizontal band that is independent of the picture's contents. This is not obvious in the lower quality images. So there has been a digital edit which we made. So if you look at the original image, you can use Google image search and uh, on the coloring in the image it finds many version of the colored ship so this is a digitally altered image now coming to the last analysis the case of golden throne so the week of unrest and violence in ukraine were followed by a short coup of ukrainian leader one of the tweets featured on the uh, an ornate toilet a golden toilet is this Enuquan's toilet? How would you all validate the authenticity of this reported palace photo? Let's look at it. Now, what do you see here? You can see some color changes so the answer is first hint is what is ELA and the metadata identify metadata what does it say Apple computer primary platform so it's not taken from a uh, proper camera we can identify the camera here now third hint is can you use your web process to identify when similar pictures appear online The actual answer is ELA and if you multiple receives and the metadata has been stripped. So we know that this is not original. So if you go to ELA, it shows multiple receives has been done in this. You can see that from the pack percentage here. So the last switch quality is 75% quality. And metadata is also stripped. Now if you uh, search Google, you can easily identify some similar images. So I hope this information uh, can be used to identify fake images that has been uh, digitally altered, usually that you find in dating sites and online matrimonial sites. I hope this information is useful. Thank you very much. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.